the pointer sisters jump welcome to the show good afternoon you're listening to the best community radio show in the northwest i want a dressing room i want a makeup artist i want a pop-up bar we'll just move the bosses from his office he's got a pop-up bar you should see it honestly honestly we had a guy there. I thought his name was Guinness. There's that much alcohol in his room. Welcome to the show, everybody. Good afternoon. It's 10 minutes past two in the PM. Very special guest is joining us very shortly. But before that, we've had a message. It's your kids, Marty. Something's going to be done about your kids. It's from the dead zone. Do, do. He's called, he's called the dead zone. He's really called the dead zone. He says, you are a star, Joshi. Who are? And he put the Alpacino in there. He says, I dig your talent and probably will invite you to my wedding with the only girl that's been in my life. And he's put an attachment to the message. I open the attachment. It's a woman. It could be his girlfriend. It could be anybody, but it's a woman. And she looks very pretty. Now, does she live in Florida? Are you going to get married in Florida or in Tameside? Because I'm not going Florida. I'll, no. I might do. I will do. Daniel's going, yeah, go Florida. I'll go Florida. Sounds expensive though, Daniel. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Have you ever been to Florida? We're going to a wedding. Do you know what? I haven't actually. I haven't. No. So he's more you... LA than I am. Florida. <laughs> I don't think you can do Florida more LA. No. And the smart. Oh um, my God. Cause you're very starry, aren't you? Am I starry? I, yes. Am yes. I starry? Is that a bad thing? Honestly, he's mean like astrology wise or. No, I mean like Hollywood. Well, I'm not, am I like that? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, he's been to Ashton just a handful of times. I walked to get myself a copy, a coffee a couple of days ago outside Costa. There's like, he started a Hollywood walk of fame. We've only got one <laughs> square there so far. It says Daniel Westwood. In my favorite coffee shop already. I'm defamating it. We love That's it. That's what I'm doing. It's my favorite place. How have you been? Now, this is how it is all about. Strictly come dancing and you're our official correspondent. I am indeed. Have you got the theme tune or are you going to sing it for me? <laughs> I'm going to have to sing it. The boss was meant to get it, but he's, he's been too busy nailing me to the wall. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that was an awkward pause. <laughs> Never will just that shoot, was shoot me move on. A professional pause. Now oh. I didn't watch it. I was in Sheffield. Boo. Boo. Come on. I've caught, I, I didn't watch it on Saturday, but I've caught up. You're so dedicated to the cause. I am. That's the power of a two and a half hour journey. Was this the official week where we all started dancing? With no, 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 no. It's, um, the best, the best bits. So it was basically, um, you haven't missed much if you, you didn't say it. you saw past contestants watching footage of themselves, a goggle box strictly, if you like. Okay. So they had lots of old ex people like, um, Russell Grant, Ruth from this morning. Molly from the Saturdays, lots of cricketing stars, Louise Redknapp, Ed Ball, who we love. He was wasn't he there, no, but they mentioned him. So they were watching Bits and Bobs and it was kind of like a, a guide of what the, the new contestants have basically let themselves in for. And, yeah, it's kind of just wet your mouth a bit like, Ooh. And basically to say you, you can't get out of your contract now. <laughs> look, at, look at your, look at your smile. It excites you to no end, doesn't it? Do you know what? Anyone who knows me knows how much if if you if you were to ask what is the one show on TV that I would happily do, and it's not Big Brother because I've had that <laughs> this weekend. So many people texting me going, "Oh, you won't be able to go on Big Brother now that it's cancelled." I was going to say Antiques Rose show. Well, no, no, no. Uh, Big Brother is coming back. Side note: <gasps> ITV bought it. What? So that's um, an exclusive. It is. That? I think. Well, this it's in the making. Yeah, ITV are going to take <gasps> it over. So all my friends that have texted me, if that happens, this is my pledge live on the radio. I will go in and do it. I'm Big, big Brother? Yeah, I'll do it. Because it's on ITV. You yeah, I'll do it on it. ITV. What? <laughs> no But way. no, obviously, aside from that, um, Strictly's the best show in, in the TV land, isn't it? It's because... Lost, I've lost for words and I got so excited. They never mess with the format. It's just so welcoming and family friendly. And that's what you want in these days. Well, it's for all ages as well. If you, yeah. Even if you don't like dancing, I think that a few people have said like even like dads and stuff who don't really particularly like dancing but they'd like they'll watch someone like ed balls or yeah because you know it's an excuse to get all your family together you think oh my yeah. wife is going to be there my little son there with his whether, you, whether you're watching because you like dancing or you're watching to think oh god so and on that and she's going to be horrendous <laughs> <laughs> i no watch names. it for the good dance <laughs> that's not fair how dare you so we've got daniel for the whole hour it's going to be very cheeky very camp what an introduction yeah we've, i've got loads to, literally this week is the best week um <laughs> because all this not the stories, but it's bu bubbling over this week, isn't it? Because it's the last week of training to go to the live show. So there's like everything like pressure. 
I'm spraying him. <laughs> too much. You, over the, it's too manic. What's wrong? What am I? From you, manic. Have you been sniffing the boss's pens again? I haven't. No, I did that. Oh, right. I woke up back in high school. It was horrible. <laughs> That's again awkward. Um, but yeah, we've got loads to talk about. The Strictly Curse, people's pressures, what Fear from Steps is trying to do on Saturday to to pull out all the stops. You'll never believe it. Don't but we'll get to it, that later, it. yeah. Don't and that. also, what people, are, what the dancers people are doing. Oh, do you know this? I know a few <gasps> of them. Oh, Daniel, you're amazing. <laughs> he knows everybody in the business. We're going to start with for Isaac. Allegedly, Scouting before we get sued. Girls, in case Hard, I can't. Don't say, you brought the mood down. We're not, I'm not going in court again. I can say allegedly. <laughs> I'm a room fiver on the way as well. <laughs> really? Who did it? You better not kill the Mr. Poirot is on the case. So, Ellis Baxter. Before that, scouting for girls, heartbeat, gugun, gugun. Welcome to Tame Side Today. It's my final hour. And because it's Monday and the two o'clock hour, we're drawn by Daniel, our official Strictly Come Dancing correspondent. Hello, Daniel. Hello, how are we? Hey, fantastic. Right. Thanks for coming in. Was Sophie Ellis Baxter on the show? She was on Strictly, yes, but I'm not, um, I'm off the top of my head. I should know this as a diehard fan, but. I'm not going on Mastermind or anything else, Strictly. But I'm, I'm not entirely sure what stri um, series she did. It was a few years ago. I want to say about two, three years ago. So if anyone's listening, you know, let us know. Was well, she, she danced to that song? She danced to her own, her own song. song. Wow. Murder on the dance floor. You're trying to have a nice family-friendly yeah. so show. This is it. It's not I fair, Daniel. Yeah, and she's singing I Blow You All Away. Did it, did it. I love with the song, moves and I love the song. It is a good, it's a camp anthem, isn't it? We've got loads of camp anthems coming up this hour. Well, that's good, because we're talking about the camper show on telly, so... Is it countdown? Do you know what? It's, I'm really excited, isn't it? I think I'd, I was going to say I'd, I'd be less excited if I was doing the show, but I, if I was doing the show, I'd be a nervous wreck. Oh, you get to but, enjoy it? But, oh, yeah. I'd probably be in a spray tan booth by now. <laughs> My du my second double dip. Do you have to have a spray tan when you go on the show? I don't, Tell think, me it, that. I don't think it's in your contract. I think because um, it's in that Latin and Latin American and ballroom thing ah, they do. It's like oui, bodybuilding. Oui. It's part of the the thing. But it, I think it because of the glitz and the glamour, and also because you're on TV as well. It makes you look healthier. Do you get to choose your own costumes? I don't think so. Really? Well, do you I, get a choice? Do they give you like a little? Rack? I would imagine. I would imagine you can say, "Oh, I don't want my." Because they were talking about this on the show on Saturday, and a lot of them, the men were joking with each other, like saying, "Oh, when is the right time to go like topless for, a, for like now. a, a pasta doble?" <laughs> wow, Lee Ryan, first now, week. Is he doing the pasta doble? Well, he's allegedly. He said in the press that he's a bit. He's a bit worried because he's a bit chubby. But Lee Ryan, if you're listening, because we know he listens to the show now, right? Um, he's not chubby, is he? Our Lee Ryan. But even so, it's a great, you know, it show body confidence if people just said, this is who I well, am. This, but you don't want to do it on the first week, do you? It's a bit... No, build up to it. It's a bit it. full of yourself, isn't it? We're going to watch it every week. Wait Hashtag until. Mark Wright. <laughs> is it the Paso Doble? Every, is it, it's Mark Wright done it? Mark Wright's done Strictly and he had it all out. Well, the chest and everything. The low cut V, that's what they're talking about. I would personally not have my chest out if I was on Strictly. I had to get a new TV after that. I watched it. I was smothering cocoa butter on the screen. Come on. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Have, we, have we got any gossip? You're Daniel? worse than Bruno. Oh, Bruno. <laughs> I love him. There he is. I right, love him. Where do we want to start? Where are we starting? We'll leave the dancers and what people are doing till um, last. Have we got any nice gossip? Well, we've got, got some. Gossip. The Strictly Curse has apparently started already. <gasps> and this is all tabloid no. fodder gossip. No. So we're going to just elaborate on that. And it's to do with our friend, Lee Ryan. Oh. <gasps> What? Come He's on. apparently getting a bit too close to his dance partner already. They have two to dance. Well, no, I mean, the... I mean, like in press pap shots and stuff. I think he might be falling for her. To be honest, she's a beautiful lady, Nadia. I can't pronounce her surname. I'm not going to go there. Um, but they've both got part. But they've both got. She's got a Wait. boyfriend, footballer, and he's got a girlfriend. Allegedly, we're saying because I don't want to get into trouble, guys. And I'm not staring the pot for gossip, but we love the gossip, don't we? But yeah, they're they're getting on really well in their partnership. They know what they're doing. And Front page news now. Well, yeah, he's a pro, and they're both good looking. Why not? That's what we want. We need at least one Strictly Romance. Oh, yes. It'd be authentic on the Do Pasadena I mean? play then. Doom, the Strictly baby. Curse. This is what we're talking about. And we're not talking about Testel doing the show as the curse. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble for saying that, aren't I? Um, oh, God. Oh, she'll be tweeting me. Um, but no, we, the Strictly Curse. And they, they make joke of it now. So, yeah, that's that's been in the press this week. But it comes to be expected, though, doesn't it? 
Well, I think when you're, um, and it spoke about it on the best bit show on Saturday as well. I think when, once you're spent, you're spending like 12 hours a day with your partner. Yeah. And to, very close. even to say like, if you say, if you, if you had a radio job, your partner would have to come to your radio job with you yeah. to then go on. So you literally, you're seeing them more than your actual partner at home. Yeah. So chemistry is naturally going to build. And then obviously you're in the dance studio, sweaty and touching the bone. If you're doing the, the tango where the, where you put the, the leg through the, for the what, Daniel? Where you swing your leg through the boy's legs and vice versa. <laughs> Thighs are touching and stuff like that. And it, I don't know. But it's sexy because now I'll watch them dance thinking, I know what they've done off stage. I know what they've well, done. Well, it's not, it's not a hundred percent. It's just I what, know, Daniel. what they're, I... they're predicting really. But, um, I think he's quite cheekily Ryan anyway, as we know, don't we? So yeah. And that's adorable. You, you kind of fall in love with that. But she's very pretty, very, and she was a, she joined last year, the dancer that he's with Nadia. And I think, um, she didn't have a very good time last year because she had quite a naff per partner, I remember. She'll uh, go far this time. So yeah, I think he's, he's, do you know what? It's getting to it later. He's one of my, um, ones to watch, I think. Cause I think once he gets rid of all the, the cheeky chappy thing and he gets down to it, I think he'd be quite good. Hmm. He must have rhythm as a singer. Oh, surely. Yeah. I mean, he plays piano, so you need to have rhythm for that. Yeah. And time and everything. Yeah. I think he'll do very well. On the way, we do have Britney Spears. Baby, one more time. That's for Daniel because he has Britney Spears emblazoned on his t-shirt. True yeah, story. It's a t-shirt. It's not a tattoo. Fat. Look at it. <laughs> Fat. Look at your, t look at your t-shirt. My outfits are wasted on radio, aren't they? <laughs> I know. Yeah. We'll get a picture afterwards. Don't worry. Maroon 5 payphone on the way. And a little bit later on, if you're still with us and why wouldn't you be? Scissor Sisters. Only the horses. If you want to request some music, eight, double two, eight and start your message with the word tame side. We're going to have more of Daniel as well. Just like fire. Tame. Britney Spears, baby, one more time. Good afternoon, welcome to the show, Maroon 5 on the way. Joined by Daniel today, our official Strictly Come Dancing correspondent. Oh, it's camper than Christmas this hour, isn't it, Daniel? It is very camp. Thanks for joining us. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about the favourites, though, because they must feel the pressure, surely, oh, yeah. more so than it's any other. It's funny you should say that. Um, yeah, yeah um, I think it, we all, they have this every year when everyone's like, oh, they're going to be the favourite to win. And it sometimes true and sometimes not. And the whole, obviously, if you're a performer or a pop star, or it happened with Debbie McGee last year when people were like, oh, she's had dance training. She's going to be really good, which she was, but it doesn't necessarily mean you, if you're, if you're a pop star, you, um, you're going to have good rhythm and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's all, all different that, types of disciplines. And, uh, people, yeah, of course. And then obviously you're going to have the only, the only advantage you're going to have on, say, like a cric cricketer, every actor that went to drama school, you've, you're going to have to, you've done some dancing. Yeah. And you, you're just naturally more so showy as well. So you probably pick it up or stuff like that. Yeah. But then if you're a musician, you're going to be more musical than someone else. So you could say that about anyone. So what would happen? Because the professionals choose and choreograph the dance routine. Yeah. yeah. Would they give their, do you know, showbiz stars who have experience in dancing a more difficult routine to begin with? Well, I think so. Like, I'll obviously, Precious, we're talking about Precious, like, Ashley from Pussycat Dolls is like, she's the favourite to win the show. And obviously, because she's a really, really good dancer. Don't you? She's very pretty. Mm. So she's obviously going to do well. Her friend Nicole, obviously from the Pussycat Dolls, did well on the American show. Mm. Dancing with the stars. There you go. But they'll feel the pressure more so because so, yeah. they've got, everyone's like, Oh, they're going to be amazing. We're expecting tens. Yeah. So it's a lot of pressure. And I think it's a lot of pressure if you, you haven't done it before to get out into, in front of a studio audience because half of the people, like they don't work in, maybe not work in TV anyway. So you might not be used to being in a studio, being in front of an audience. Like rhythm. Gra Graham Swan, the cricketer. I think he's going to be fab. You know, he's really? another one to watch. I think he's, yeah. Yeah, I think he, I don't know. I hope so. It might be a little rusty to begin with, but I think all the crowd, because it's usually that one where all the crowd get around thinking, Yeah, oh. No, but I think he'd be good and he's got a good personality, but yeah, pressures. So Ashley this week, Ashley's allegedly feeling the pressure and so's fear from steps. Now she's pulling out all the stops this week and hopefully, well, not hopefully, it's rumoured that her partner has cleverly, cleverly put some steps moves into what? her first dance. Now, I don't know whether she's dancing to her own step song, which if she doesn't this week, it is on probably on the cards. Yeah. It's going to be, isn't it? Unless it's, unless it's tragedy and she goes out that week and <laughs> that would be hilarious, but awful. But yeah, so her partner is putting, um, some, um, moves from steps into the, 
Which are quite basic moves. It's basically put them towards your head. Well, yeah, but it's quite gimmicky, that, I think. Oh, she's with Giovanni, the new dancer. So, yeah, right. he's obviously cottoned on to that. But then, and then Ashley, she's the favourite to win, pressure. And then, bless Katie Piper, she d- did a 10k marathon the other day. So, I don't know how oh, she's God. fitted her training in. And then we've got Lauren, the Olympian, who's in Australia. So they're at a disadvantage, you would say. Well, yeah, I think well, it's one thing following your partner around for rehearsals, but if you're in Australia in a different country. But Ooh. I think she's back now, and I think she's got good news from the Olympics. But they'll be pumped up. Competing. But I think yeah, everyone's going to be everyone's going to be feeling the pressure. But I think it's the the general vibe. I think if you've been told you're going to be really really good, yeah, you have to be. I think unless they think she yeah, won't let anyone good. down. I think Faye from Steps will go. Yeah, I am good. I'm going to win it. I think she will. Unless you're Susanna, who's moaning about sore feet already. <laughs> I'm like, you haven't started. God. She's, and she's gonna... in the bad books with the fans, isn't she, already? She'll have her legs up at home with her brew in a couple of weeks' time anyway. Well, yeah. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> Maroon 5. Give a little more. Good afternoon. More of Daniel on the way. We're talking strictly today. Da, 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 da. On the way, scissors, sisters. And at the end of the hour, if you're still with us, and why wouldn't you be? Charlie Poof. Welcome to Tameside Today, and please, please, please stay tuned. When you come home. Scissors, sisters. Baby, baby, come home. Baby, come home to me. I love it. Welcome to the show. Almost the end. We need a violin. I say goodbye. It's the very last time today, Mr. Daniel Westwood. Hello, Daniel. Hello, I'm still here. D- he's still here, everybody. <laughs> still here. We're chatting away. I love it, though. The research you put into this segment. Well, it's no, it's because I get, we, I'm like you. Once you get talking, you get like sidetracked and you go down a different avenue. And then I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> And then I start talking about Big Brother. It's stuff amazing, like that. Though, isn't it? No, but that's, you great. know what I mean? I love it. We're, We're on a rival channel. What's, um, what's that, what's happening now with what we're talking about? So, um, just, just juice. More I want juice. We're going to get to, we're going to get, I'm going to get strictly because I know we're, um, <laughs> we're strictly pushed for time. Stop it. Um, so we'll, we'll move on to what people are dancing, they're dancing. Not, we haven't got the songs what they're dancing to yet that'll come out later in the week. But, um, just about, we're going to touch on Zoe Ball because she is part of the show. Now she's quite, sought after for a, a job at the moment. She does the It Takes Two show, which is on BBC Two during on weeknights. Is it every weeknight? Every, Monday to Friday. It's 6.30, I believe. Don't quote me. You'll be good at that. 6.30. So, oh, by the way, the, the show on Saturday started quarter past six on Saturday, BBC One, the Strictly, the first week. Right. So there you go, just to get that in for times and stuff. And how can to... we vote, Daniel? <laughs> um, we're not, they're not voting this week. I'm not going what, to our vote. Um, but yeah, so Zoe Ball's in the running. We've just spoke about this, haven't we, off air? Yeah. She's in the running. Well, she's tipped to get Chris <laughs> Evans's old right. radio job. Yeah. Which I think she'll be fab at, because she's really, really good at. My auntie would disagree. Oh, no, really? well, yeah, no, she's she's a great presenter. That'd be in the new year, though, wouldn't it? See, I personally think Zoe, because they've done it before where Tessa was off, I think, or Claudia was off, and Zoe stepped into the main show. And I think Zoe Ball and Claudia would be fab on the main show. I'm wow. not trying to push Tess out, but... Don't leave Tess alone. I know, She's I'm only saying that. Deal. She's no, I'm just saying, it's just God. preference, isn't it? Anyway, should we move quickly on to what people are dancing We've to? We've got time, go. We touched on Faye doing some steps, moves into her routine. She is doing the cha-cha-cha. Okay. This week. Now, um, she's with Giovanni, as I've said already. We've also, someone else is doing, no, no one else is doing the chat chat chat. Um, well, there will be, but not, oh yeah, Dr. Range, my favourite, Dr. Range. He's also doing the chat chat chat. Two chat chat chats. I backed that up then, didn't I? <laughs> um, hopefully he won't be doing any medical things, like if he's doing a dance routine. Oh I'm God. sure it's like Dr. Scarpel. Range won't be doing any, um, medical. Playing operations on the dance floor. You know what I mean? Like a quick um, <laughs> cough <laughs> test. Um, anyway, we'll move on for that. My Stacey Dooley, love her. We've said before, haven't we? She's a favourite. She's cute. We love her. She's doing the quick step, which is quite a hard one to do because if you basically get out of time, it's hard to pick yourself back up. Hence the quick step. Don't you have to be on the... So I think that's personally really probably the hardest one to do as a... Um, First dance. We're running out of time. Along with the jive, Vic and Joe Sugg, the blogger. Ah, you don't know. Okay, they're no. both doing the jive. And Lauren, back from Australia. 
the Olympian. Yeah. She is doing the waltz with our oh, favourite oh, AJ. That's so romantic. And that's all that's been released at the moment. They'll all be released this week in the song names as well. So exciting. So the first dance on Saturday. Quarter past six, BBC One. Daniel, we love you. See you same time next Monday. See you soon. Oh, isn't he fabulous, everybody? <laughs> He's just absolutely amazing. We're going to have this every Monday until Strictly Come get Dance camper. ends. Oh, let's get camper. I'm going to wear a next. costume. You, I'm like, going to wear a costume next week. Are you saying that's not a costume? And I think we should get spray tans every week, just like the <laughs> contestants do. Oh, please. I want a makeover, Daniel. Up next is Mark Alston with your drive time extravaganza. You've got him all the way until 7 p.m. today. And at quarter past three, you have guessed the TV theme. Join me at the same time tomorrow for Northwest Greatest Community Show. Hey, what's up? This is Gwen.